You might know her from TV, films, or modeling, but most recently from one of America's best cooking shows, Top Chef. Talented in the studio, talented in the kitchen, she is Padma Lakshmi. She's joining us this morning to tell us about all her sweet and spicy show ideas. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us, Padma. Hi, Christy. Thanks for having me on the balance. Oh, no, it's my pleasure to have you. Now, let me start and ask you, how did you get involved in this show? Well, I uh, love to write cookbooks. I, I wrote a couple of cookbooks and I had uh, done some other shows on TV, a cooking show and some documentaries. And, and that's how I came to hosting Bravo's Top Chef. And, you know, what I do in the kitchen is really no different from what a lot of food professionals do, whether it's in a restaurant or, for instance, you know, what I'm showing today you know, for Frito-Lay, I am in the middle of Times Square. Now, I've been in a lot of different places with my food documentary, but today I'm in New York City on the top of a billboard in Times Square for Frito-Lay. What fun! <laughs> I know, let me tell you why. Because a couple of months ago, Frito-Lay made this promise that by the end of the year, they were going to make half of their products with all natural ingredients. And I thought, hmm, but are they still going to be able to give me my Lay's barbecue chips, which I love? And the truth is, they are. <laughs> so the way they do it is they have this flavor kitchen in uh, Plano, Texas. Now, we usually think of a big food company like Frito-Lay having a food lab and stuff. But it's just a kitchen, you know, with chefs in it, just like any big restaurant here in New York or anywhere else. And so today, we've recreated their flavor kitchen here in Times Square to demonstrate that while they're going to make, you know, these sun chips and lays and tostitos with all natural ingredients, they're still going to make them yummy. They're still going to pay attention to regional tastes. For instance, that barbecue potato chip that I love so much, they have the regular lays barbecue, but they also have sweet Carolina <gasps> barbecue, which I think is really cool. So we take real dishes and we get inspired by them and we layer those flavors onto chips. I'm loving it. I gotta tell you, you mentioned those barbecue chips, and that is what my daughter adores. She eats them almost every single day, Padma. I kid you not, I have to pack them in her lunchbox every day when she goes to school. <laughs> I used to shove them in my submarine sandwiches when I was in high school <laughs> to give me an extra crunch. I do that too, um, so I stuff them in and then I eat that's, it. Isn't that funny? I know, and I, I was really that. impressed also, by the way, I mean, joking aside, that a big food company like Frito-Lay would do this, would take this on. Because frankly, you know, when we think of a big mm -hmm. packaged food company or, or, or packaged potato chips, we think of chemicals, we think of MSG, we think of trans fats. Well, you know, these three brands that I'm talking about by the end of the year, and many of them already that are on the market, do not have any of that. And I think that's pretty cool. Let me ask you something about you when you were a kid. Were you always in the kitchen helping out to prepare dinner and taste testing everything you could get your hands on? I was. You know, I think I was just born with the nose of a bloodhound. And, you know, that's my interest in food is my palate. And so as a little kid, I was looking for things to taste because I had such a sensitive nose and a sensitive palate. And all the action was in the kitchen, right? We know that all the decisions are made there all the gossip is sh shared there. That is the hub and central command of any household. And so that's where I was. Now we're running out of time. I have to ask you, how does it feel okay. being on top of a billboard two stories up in the middle of Times Square? I'm jealous. It feels a little <laughs> chilly, to be honest. <laughs> You are larger than life, shall we say. Yeah, finally. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, Padma, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate your time this morning, and good luck oh, to you. Oh, my pleasure, and, and thank you for having me, Christy, on The Balancing Act. And always think of my little girl when you're having those barbecue chips, okay? I will do. Thanks. All right, have a great day.